Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at an awesome fifth wheel toy hauler with a huge garage that's big enough to bring all of your toys. This is a 2021 Dutchman Voltage model V3915. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Voltage and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Will's RV Reviews Towables. It's the world's only channel that gives you three things we love and three things we don't love about every fifth wheel travel trailer and toy hauler that we review. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at a very popular toy hauler, the Dutchman Voltage. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going? Going good. We're beautiful. Still, still up here in Virginia. Yeah, beautiful day. Beautiful and, day in the neighborhood. That's right. Yep. And um, yeah, this is a really nice no, look. This is a really nice fifth wheel toy hauler. So I am excited to show you, of course. Me too, Will. And we're gonna drop the patio down so everybody can see how cool. easy that is. Will, let's begin. Model is Voltage V3915. The actual tip to tip length of this toy hauler is 42 feet 11 inches. The dry weight is 15,340 pounds. And will that tongue weight? 3,091 pounds. 100% need a dually. Hashtag dually light. This is a big old fifth wheel. Right up front, we have the nice painted fiberglass front cap voltage with the big V. And you got that uh, LED light strip right there. Right here is your hitch vision. There is a piece of film right here that will come off. I'm gonna leave that on. It will come off and that way when you're backing up, it's gonna help you line your fifth wheel hitch to this. You got your Rotoflex trailer <laughs> pin box right here. Very nice from Lipper Components. And then underneath here, Will, does have the generator. It's the Cummins Own and 5500 EVAP generator. And there's where your batteries go right there. Very nice. Coming on down the side here. Right here's where your uh, propane tanks are. You can see the hydraulic fluid, uh, the lines right here. It does have six point hydraulic auto leveling, which is a very nice feature. If you look up there, we do have freightless windows throughout the whole toy hauler. And right here, we do have Decent storage, not the best, definitely not the worst. It has lights in here, power outlets, you know, it's nice. And then we do have a nice big power awning with LED lights. Will, let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. All right. Will, I lied. It's two power awnings with LED lights. Sure is. And something that's really nice, if we go over here real quick, a lot of times with this second awning, I can't tell when it's all the way out. Uh-huh. But from where I was standing to right here, I could see the awning. Oh nice. Bar. Through the window? Yes, exactly. Pretty cool. Yes, very nice power awning with LED lights. Right here, real we do have the Moride solid steps. We love these. And because this is a voltage, you do have the all-weather package. Right over here. Look at this TV, Will. This toy hauler. This is camping. That's right. We got a nice big insignia TV. Kenwood sound system and everything. Very nice. And then look at these tires, Will. They're Load Stars. I love those. They are the uh, ST235 85 R16. And we do have the Moride CRE 3000 suspension. Very nice. Uh, coming on down the side here. We do have this just uh the garage area. You do have the aluminum fold-up steps, which you're not mad about. Very nice. And then coming around the back, it is prepped for a Furion backup camera. You can get a Furion backup camera by using our link down below. We do have an awning right there, and this has the Moride Zero G door, which is very nice. And it's almost heavier to pull it down, you know what I'm saying? Right. <clears throat> Look at that. Oh, 
Oh, oh okay, we have it in ramp mode. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, wow. Okay. Hold this for a sec. Interesting. So how would it go? With so well, there's legs on the ground, but that none of that cable action, because what they did was the cable's now right there. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. So now you're 100 percent reliant on the legs. You want to do it? Yeah, we're doing it. Hang on a second. Hold on. Close it up. Okay. Are you doing this one? Okay, bring it out. No, no, leave it. Leave it. There you go. Now open. So here's what I gotta say. I... Kick this down. Should. There we go. Here's what I gotta say. I do like how the cable's not here. Yes. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. To interfere with that. But I really don't like the feet having to be on the floor for that support. What say you? Do you like that or no? Yeah, I don't care. I mean, it's probably more sturdy, but the only problem is it feels it feels more sturdy, but I don't know if it is more sturdy. If that makes sense. Yeah. Well, the other thing too is um, if the sight's not level. But I'm just right. wondering. That's what I'm wondering about. And then not only that, like look at how far the spaces are. They're an inch. Yeah. Which doesn't sound like much, but if you're not level. But are you sure there's not a cable somewhere? Because oh. I bet you there still is. Okay, I well, bet but I've just never seen this. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Well, if there is a cable, then yeah, I like it. Yeah. I like that it will give you that option. Coming around to the uh, driver's side. We do have a side ladder. We know how we feel about these, but we're doing it anyway does have a, a one-piece TPL roof. Well, let's go up there and take a look. All right. It does. Yeah. Still good jacks. Okay, well then I like it then. Because I like the, uh, the different options. Here we go now. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one-piece TPL roof. Not one, not two, but three air conditioning units. I love that. Very big, fully walkable. You can put Max Air fans there. And you do have a digital antenna up there. Here we go now. Great! And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What are our RV salesmen going to take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. We'll ask nobody. And then finishing up. Come on, man. Right here is your fuel station. Okay, you have an emergency shutoff switch. That's a fuel pump to help fill up your uh, toys, golf carts, or whatever. 
There's where you dump your tanks. Okay. You're also gonna have another place to dump right there. And this is your black tank flush. Okay. Right over here, 50 amp service. You do have a solar thing right there. Your water heater is right there. And then check this out. Very nice wet bay. Another black tank flush, winterization fill, city water connection, potable water fill, potable, potable. Outdoor shower and everything. And right there, it's just your auto leveling. Well, well, the outside of this, oh. More propane. Well, well, the outside of this toy hall looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. All right, we'll start up front and in the bedroom. Got the bedroom up front here. Two doors to the bathroom. Right here is the bathroom. Coming on down in the middle, you have your living area and kitchen. And then in the back, of course, is the garage. Where are we starting? Oh, uh, back here. Okay. We will we'll, we'll start there. But Will, while I'm getting the awnings in, I have a huge favor to ask everyone. Uh, we want to give a big shout out to our sponsor, My Waggle. So if you guys have pets, please listen up. My Waggle is an RV pet digital thermostat, and it sends you notifications based off humidity, temperature, or power losses, okay? So if you bring your pets camping with you, sometimes you leave to go to the beach, you leave to go to uh, Disney World, you leave to go to a restaurant and you'll leave your pet in the camper. Well, if it gets too hot or humid or you lose power, you're going to want to know right away. And the best part about my waggle is it notifies you, but will not from the app. It will notify you via the app, but it will also notify you via text message and email, which you don't need Wi Fi to send that message. So it's the best way and probably the cheapest way to protect your pets, which are your loved ones. And uh, we partnered up with Waggle, and we, ha we have a code down below, an exclusive uh, coupon code. When you click that, you'll get a phenomenal deal. We've already done the negotiating for you. That's right. So we thank everybody. We sure do. And we thank them. Does my Waggle work at home too? It does. Yeah. But. Mostly for, the idea is mostly for campers. But the whole thing is, it's like, yeah, we could position it that way, and they do as well. But it's probably three to five percent use it at home. The whole thing is these are hot boxes. Right. You know what I'm saying? Your house could go the whole day right. and still be uh not Yeah, killing you could your go pet. to work all day and come home and it's warm, but it's not it's not killing your pet. Yeah. Where an R V in freaking I mean look at this. It's freaking a beautiful seventy five degrees. You're already sweating. I'm sweating because of the inside of this R V. Yeah. It gets really hot really fast. Alright, well back here. Alright. Very nice patio area. Easy to set up. Well, a little more complicated than other patios. But again, I like how it gives you the options. I will say this way is very sturdy, but it does help because we are level, you know? Yep. Um, really nice slide right there. And then here we do have our uh, three season doors, which is a very nice feature. There's your steps right there. And then in this garage, before we drop the bunk down, notice this. You have nice big D rings, and look at this. Well, big 15 foot garage. You do have a half bath right here, but it's not taken away from your garage space, which is a very nice feature. Then to drop the beds down. Right behind you. Where? Look at that. I will say that's nice because I'm not, you know, I can reach it. Drop, drop it low. Hey, Will. Yeah. Really nice feature you're about to see. Watch the bed. It's about to stop right there. Okay. And then the sofa. Yep. And then the sofa's going to continue all the way down. It's pretty neat. Yeah. Pretty neat. Very nice. Look at this. 
Nice bunk above the cab. Very big. Great for adult-sized guests. You know, so many times people want to go camping with friends. Like me, well, Jen and Andrea like to go camping together. But, you know, I, we can't sleep in a bunk bed. But this, something like this, we could definitely sleep in. Right here, this lower bed. It Just the use. <clears throat> Toy haulers are like Swiss Army knives. Yeah. There's just so many use and features you can do. Right here, this is where your dinner room table is. You set up a table here. Really nice. This folds down to make a bed. And it's just a nice, awesome feature. And it's just so, it's just so neat how, you know, it sleeps a lot. It transports a lot. It's just, it's just neat, you yeah. know? And then right over there, that's where you would put. You can put a washer dryer there. Up here, you have a TV, okay? It does swing down like that. And whoa, can you get that storage for us? Sure. It's the a adult size storage. storage. up there. The man size. And up here. Say, so little boys can't have toy haulers, can they? <laughs> <laughs> and then we got a half bath right in here. Okay. Check that out first. Yep. Sink and everything. A little bit of storage there. Okay. Okay. And this toilet. Here we go now. Here we go. Looks like it might be a little tight. Oh, yeah. It is actually very tight. Yeah. No big deal, though, because, again, this is your half bath. Right. It's your garage bath. This isn't... Uh, I'm not mad that that does not get the nope. prime pooping yeah. position. Perfect. And then over here in the living room area, look at this very nice Thomas Paine collection theater seats. What type of material is this? Do you know? No, I don't know. It's like, it's soft, but still weather wickening. Very interesting, okay? We do have big windows all the way around with privacy shades, right? Big three windows. And then these seats do recline right which Pretty is nice neat. when you're watching tv yeah which is directly across from the entertainment center now before we show that will if you could show that loft sure got the nice loft up here yep another sleeping area and show the storage above okay okay very nice you have your insignia tv right here more storage right there and then a fury on fireplace right there. Well, well, you know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for the MSRP. MSRP. You know how lame that is? <laughs> I think it's great. MSRP on this toy hauler here is not bad. $108,208. MSRP. Sale price, as you can see there, we don't currently have a sale price uh, because it is a 2021 model year, but will. It doesn't matter what the sale price is, was, or will be. We sell so many of these. We represent them in Tampa. Right. You know, which, you know, we, we, we sell more at the Tampa show of these than most dealerships sell in a whole year. Right. So we push some voltages yeah and if somebody wants a voltage tell everybody what to do anywhere in america they can call they can text they can email they can facetime hey 301-906-0962 or matt's rv reviews at gmail.com send me an email or the best thing to do is to go to matt's rv reviews.com there you'll see three contact me tabs if you're ready to buy this rv or any rv click tab number one that takes you to general rv and somebody from my team will get you the best price in america if you have questions about this toy hauler, perfect. Click tab number two. That sends an email to both Will and myself, and we will get back to you within 24 to 48 hours um, as soon as we can to answer your questions. Or if it's just a generalized fan question, click that third tab. And Will, it doesn't matter if anybody clicks tab three, two, or one. There is one thing that every tab has in common. They're going to get the best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Will, let's continue the video. All right. Sounds good. We'll start over here in the kitchen. Yes. You got some good pantry space here. Very nice. It's shallow, but I actually like that because stuff doesn't get buried in the back. Okay. It could be a little deeper though. Yeah, for sure. Right here, you got your Norcold two-way refrigerator and freezer. Works off of both gas uh, or electric. Very nice. 
coming down here, we got a little bit of storage above the microwave. Okay. This is a uh, high point convection microwave. Okay. Nice backsplash here. And then the nice four burner insignia residential cooktop and oven. I love these. Nice. Blue lights? No. Nope. And the oven right there. Well, is that oven turkey tested? It sure is. Turkey approved. Turkey approved. Now this is a real pantry. Yes, <laughs> real big too. And a little bit storage above yep. the pantry. That's <clears throat> all right. And then a little bit more storage there as well. Nice little coffee bar, not enough for not a not a taco bar. bar. No, but you do have some maybe like here. not even yeah no not a taco bar. Unless you just like tortillas and meat. <laughs> tortillas and meat. And yep. a little storage there. Then you have this nice big island. I just, I feel like toy haulers are getting a lot better with their kitchen designs. Yeah, and they look better as well. They do. Nice spray faucet here. Okay. Single bowl sink with the covers. Solid surface countertops throughout the whole kitchen. Yep. Got some storage right there. Or, yeah, and the plumbing. And. Oh, somebody stole a $104 trash can. That's right. Or they, you know. No, it's definitely supposed to come with yeah. one. Yeah. And then nice drawers right there. there. Yep. And right there. It's weird how the light's right here and then it, right it looks it like. Reflects. Yep. Yep. Interesting. Perfect. Will, it's now time for the tall test. Okay. For those of you who don't know, Will is a staggering six foot three. I think this will do. Uh, That will do, Piggy. That yep. will do. Bing! <laughs> Very nice. Cool. You know yeah, what movie that's from? No. Babe. Oh. That'll do, Piggy. That'll do. <laughs> Very nice shower right there. Medicine cabinet. Oh, I love this sink design. Yeah. Very nice. Good drawers. Good storage. Good drawer. And then look at this toilet on an angle. Yep. It is all about the angle of the dangle. Porcelain. Will. This is a prime pooping position. Ding! Very nice. And then look, you even have a little towel holder right there. Oh, nice. Finishing up with the master bedroom. Very nice king size bed right here. Yep. Storage above. Well, check out that storage over there. Okay. That is all yeah, like slide a out. Closet, yep, and yep. the slide out with the drawer beneath. And then I think it's just the same thing right yep. here. Yep, yep. Very nice. Or shelving on the inside. And then right up here, you do have some storage. Good for books or cell phones or whatever. You know, you can put your CPAP machines there or there. You have plenty of space. Get that one, sir. Oh, yep. Very, very nice. And it's getting heated up. I wonder what sure my, my waggle's reading right now. And then finally, Wow, huge storage underneath the bed. Yep. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. That's a Dutchman Voltage 3915. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this toy hauler and three things we just don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we don't like? Didn't we do that yesterday? Okay, three things we like then. Okay. So I feel like don't, don't like is going to be a little difficult for me. Yeah. Um... So first thing I like, I'm gonna go in this garage area. I love this big 15 foot garage. I love how there's no obstructions in here. A lot of times when manufacturers do this big garage, they'll put the bathroom right here and then still claim it's 15 foot. Yeah, but it's not 15 foot by eight foot, you know? Right. So, so I do like that feature. That's number one. Okay. Number two. All right, I'm gonna say just kind of like the overall storage in here. Yeah. You know, you kind of have like the double pantry even though that's small. But nice big pantry right here, plenty of cabinet space, and combo that kind of with the bedroom storage as well. Okay, plenty okay. Of storage. So that's two, and then number three, Will, I'm going to have to say I like the outside TV and that double awning. That yes. double awning's nice, and it sounds silly. I'm going to combo it with this window. Uh, the actual that you're able to see that second awning come all the way out and in, that's a great feature. Yep. So that's three things we love about it. Now, Will, it's time for three things 
we don't like about this fifth wheel. Okay. Here's what I'm going to say. That bat, uh, that bedroom's a little tight. It is, yep. And this kitchen's a little tight. Yep. You know, it is what it is. The reason why it's a little tight is because you're not getting that much space. Because you are getting this big 15-foot garage. Yep. So, that is number one. Will, do you have a number two? Do you? Or not really. Oh, not really. It's tough. What I'll say is, I do feel like this is just kind of like a basic... Um, toy hauler layout like i don't feel like they tried to be in, uh, innovative at all and do anything different you know what you agree? I, I will combo that with the old-fashioned wood color yeah it's very 2016 um get with the times <laughs> right <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah. like like that like they like it, it literally looks like a 2016 voltage yep back when i sold these in 2016 right you know what i'm saying like they, they gotta get more modern um so that's two. And then what's number three, Will? Do we talk about the patio or do we like the patio? I kind of like the patio. You know? Yeah. Uh... Mm. You know what? We weren't going to go there, but I think we do go there. Listen. I know I mentioned this bathroom wasn't bad. Um, I mean, because it's a half bath, but here's what I will say. Watch, like, 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 I, like, like ha shoulder. They're always bad, but this is. This is a little bit like beyond extra bad. bad. Like, again, I say this all the time. Even if they took out the sink, it wouldn't have been a prime pooping position, but I wouldn't have made it my dislike. Yeah. They just crammed this way too deep in here. Right. And it's just. It's almost unbearable for an adult. Yep. Yep. Well, but overall, a great fifth wheel toy hauler, I yep. must say. Well, everyone, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys, absolutely everybody, so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this toy hauler, please call, text, send us an email. It is Matt's RV Reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell number, or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. If you're in the market for a toy hauler, in a few seconds, we're gonna put other toy haulers with big garages right there and there. Will, is there anything you'd like to say? Of course. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know the three things you like, three things you dislike. Um, also, in the description, make sure to check out the link for My Waggle. Again, yes. if you're going to purchase the My Waggle, uh, we did get you a coupon code, so use that link. Unless you want to pay full price. That's right. <laughs> um, make sure to also smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you guys, absolutely everybody, so much for watching, and we'll, we'll see you next time.